Who's the first male sex symbol in Hollywood? Steve Reeves, James Dean, Marlon Brando? Nah, none of them. It was this handsome hunk, Sasuke Hayakawa, a Japanese man. Today, Asian American men are the least swiped on category in dating apps. So what happened to perceptions of Asian American masculinity? Let's examine. Born in Japan in 1889, Hayakawa immigrated to the US as a young man and began his acting career on Broadway. He quickly gained popularity for his good looks and his ability to portray strong, masculine characters. An adept jiu-jitsu practitioner, fencer, swimmer, and horseman, he was so handsome that a white woman swooned in the theater at the sight of him. A direct quote from a photographer. When Sasuke was getting out of his limousine in front of a theater or of a premiere showing, he grimaced a little because there was a puddle. Then, dozens of female fans surrounded his car, fell over one another to spread their fur coats at his feet. Hayakawa's success in Hollywood was significant because it challenged the stereotype of Asian American men as weak and effeminate. In many of his roles, Hayakawa played strong, masculine characters who were not only physically imposing but also emotionally complex. His portrayal of these characters helped to counter the stereotype of Asian American men as emasculated and submissive and showed that they were capable of being strong, confident, and complex individuals. Hayakawa's success also had a broader impact on perceptions of Asian American masculinity. By achieving fame and recognition in Hollywood, he helped pave the way for other Asian American men to be seen as leading men. His success challenged the notion that Asian American men were not capable of being strong, masculine, leading figures and helped up open many opportunities for them in entertainment. At the height of his career, he was one of the highest paid men in Hollywood. Yet still, he was also typecast as the villain or forbidden lover. He lamented, Such roles are not true to our Japanese nature. They are false and give people a wrong idea of us. I wish to make a characterization which will reveal us as we really are. He left Hollywood in 1922 largely due to anti-Japanese sentiment around the world wars. Many Japanese were put in internment camps around this period because they were seen as a military threat to America and a sexual threat to white women. Sasuke paved the way for icons like Bruce Lee. Get him! Lee's impact on martial arts and popular culture cannot be overstated. A pioneer in the field of martial arts, his innovative approach to fighting, which emphasized speed and fluidity over brute strength, helped to revolutionize the way that martial arts are practiced and taught. He's a major figure in the popularization of martial arts in the Western world, and his films, which blended elements of Kung Fu and Hollywood, were hugely influential. His success as a leading man in Hollywood helped to open up more opportunities for other Asian American actors, and his outspoken advocacy for equal rights and opportunities helped pave the way for future generations. Bruce Lee himself served as the inspiration for Marvel Comics' first Asian American superhero, Shang-Chi. For too long, Asian American men have been typecast as nerds, martial arts experts, or kung fu masters in the media. This typecasting has led to an oversimplified view of them, one that doesn't take into account the diversity and complexity of their masculinity. Stereotypes are harmful. For example, the stigma created by against Asians during the COVID-19 pandemic has demonstrated the dangers of harmful media portrayal via xenophobic hate crimes. Even as recent as 2000, the action movie Romeo Must Die, a modern retelling of Romeo and Juliet, in which Aaliyah plays Juliet to Jet Li's Romeo, didn't sit well with audiences. The original ending had African-American artist Aaliyah kissing Chinese actor Lee, and the studio changed it to Aaliyah giving Lee a tight hug. Mainstream media was uncomfortable with an Asian man portrayed in a sexual light. Shang-Chi, which features an Asian American man as a skilled and capable superhero, is the latest groundbreaking representation of Asian American masculinity, and it's going to help challenge and dispel these harmful stereotypes. Asian men, if you're watching this, you're badass and sexy. Another question to round up today. Do you know who was the first non-white player in the NBA? Wataru Misaka another Japanese-American man who broke the color barrier in basketball for all minorities and paved the way for superstars like Jeremy Lin. If you like this video, please subscribe for more. See you in the next one.